Hi, Dave Barton from PowerPro. I'm always excited when I've got something new to show you guys. And here's our newest meter. And this one's kind of steered directly towards the high voltage EV hybrid uh, servicing electrical systems. <coughs> this is the new PowerPro INT500 insulation tester, and it's also an earth bonding meter. And let me show you some of the real tricks. And this is a high-end meter. It's Cat 4, 600 volt. So it's certainly hybrid safe, high voltage safe. It does have some pretty unique functions in it. Starting off with just the voltmeter mode, it has what's called auto detect ACDC. And well, let's, let's see, we'll plug in this battery first. You see it automatically switched over to DC mode. There's that auto sense button. Let's plug in this socket here. Notice it automatically switched to AC mode and it displays not only the voltage but the frequency if it's an AC signal. So dual display, bar graph at the top. Um, it has a mode for checking capacitance. And this is your ohm meter mode. But it's kind of unique. It's not like your standard ohm meter. It runs a little higher current, 200 milliamps. So it stresses the ground connections and stuff that you're usually going to be testing. Now the way that works, you can short the two leads to, whoops, I'm sorry, I have to switch my lead here. Now the way that works, you can short the two leads together, hit the test button, Now this one's zeroed out already. If it doesn't zero out, it'll give you a reading. And then you hit, you can hit the setup button and then it will zero it out. So then it takes any, any resistance from the cables you're testing with out of the equation. So once you're zeroed, then you can go ahead and test. We'll do this piece of wire. I'm gonna use these clamps here. This is just a simple test, but just for illustrative purposes. I'm going to go just this. This is a five foot of 20 gauge wire. I'm going to clip on both ends. Whoops. We'll hit the test button. So now it knows I'm le I've passed. Um, it's less than 10 milli ohms. So that's, that's as low as I can measure. <laughs> So anything less than 10 milliohms, you'll get that zero, zero, zero on this display. But it's actually, like I said, a loaded 200 milliamp test. And it'll give you readings down to 10 milliamps. So now let's talk about the insulation testing. Now you have two options with ours. Most insulation testers have the test button on the tool. Ours also has the test button remotely on the probe that you're in the circuit with. That makes it a little more convenient. You don't necessarily need three hands holding two probes and pushing a button at the same time. Um, different voltages for your insulation test. It's basically a high pressure test. You're looking for leakage. The general rule is you want to test with double the voltage of the system voltage. So for example, a 120 volt system here, I would want to test with at least, a, with at least 250 volts. Um, we're just going to stress test on this little piece of wire. We'll do an insulation test. I'll clip the ground lead on the outside of the insulation. I'll connect the probe tip and be very careful because it is going to put out 250 volts when I hit the test button. So the test is done. This is my result. It's measuring, in this case, 44 giga ohms. This number here was the applied voltage during the test, the 251 volts. Um, it, that, if you hit the setup button, it cycles between these. This is the actual amount of leakage current that occurred during the test. In this case, it's 0.11 nanoamps, almost zero leakage. 
<laughs> and there is a compare function. So you can set a preset value. Right now it's only set at 100 mega ohms. And in this mode, when you do your test, as long as the test passes that minimum that you set, you're going to get a nice pass green light here. So you've got insulation testing, earth bond testing, and most of your multimeter functions in a high functioning cat four 600 volt meter. Perfect for servicing your electric vehicles and hybrids.